Hello, this is Janet from Servant for His Glory 44, and I come in the name of Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach. This is an intercession video where I will be praying on behalf of the Holy Land, and I would humbly ask that if you're a believer in Messiah that you would consider coming into agreement with me, as I believe that there is power in agreement. So I'm going to go ahead and get started now. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you, Lord, for this time. I thank you for your compassion and mercy. I thank you that your mercies are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Father, we just put the full armor on right now by faith. The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the girdle of truth, the sandals of the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit and even the garment of praise to combat heaviness Heavenly Father we thank you that you are long suffering you are kind and merciful so Heavenly Father as we come together in unity as a threefold cord that is not easily broken I ask Father that you would honor this time of intercession Father I ask that you would hear our hearts as we cry out on behalf of the Holy Land and we ask for your mercy to cover it. I loose the blood of the lamb over it. Father, I ask, O oh Lord, that your mercy would be bestowed on behalf of the inhabitants of the land, those that are your created vessels, and that you would show forth mercy and kindness. And Father, by your spirit, I ask that you would draw hearts and minds to you so that they may receive salvation and enter into the Lamb's Book of Life. Yes, Heavenly Father, so we come, Lord, gathering. I thank you that you said, where two or more are gathered, that you are in the midst. And if two or more agree on earth as touching anything they shall ask, it shall be done of our Father, which art in heaven. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those that have trespassed against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Our Father, I ask right now, O Lord, that you would pour out mercy upon Israel, my Father, my Father, I ask you to pour out mercy upon Jerusalem. My Father, my Father, I ask that you would pour out mercy upon the souls, those that do not know you, that they are unaware that you sent your one and only Son to die on behalf of their sins and to pay the price for that sin. My Father, my Father, I just declare by faith Psalms 122. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is builded as a city that is compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls, and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, Peace within thee. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge your word, and I receive it by faith. I thank you that your word is powerful. It's living. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. And so by faith I receive this word, this promise, out of your holy word on behalf of your holy land. Father, I ask you to honor it in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach, by the power of the blood of the Lamb, by the power of the finished work of the cross, by the power of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach, by the power of the Logos word, and by the words of our testimony. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that have trespassed against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask you to have mercy upon Israel in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask you to have mercy upon Jerusalem in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask you to open doors in Israel in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask you to open gates in Israel, in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask that you would close off the enemy's access in Israel through doors, openings, breaches, however the enemy would be coming in. I ask you to close off that access in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask you to unlock what needs to be unlocked in Israel in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask you to close off the enemy's access through uh, windows in the realm of the spirit to monitor the progress of Israel in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I declare by faith Psalms 122 on behalf of Israel and on behalf of Jerusalem and on behalf of the inhabitants of the Holy Land. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is builded as a city that is compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls, and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, peace within thee. My Father, my Father, I ask, O Lord, that your mercy would be poured out upon Israel. My Father, my Father, I ask that your mercy would be poured out upon Jerusalem. My Father, my Father, I ask that your mercy would be poured out on behalf of the inhabitants of the Holy Land. I loose the blood of the Lamb, the precious blood of our Messiah, over the land of Israel. I loose the precious blood of the Lamb, our Messiah, the Lord Yehoshua HaMashiach, over Jerusalem. I loose the precious blood of the Lamb, of our Messiah, over the inhabitants of the Holy Land. I loose the light of the Holy Ghost over the land of Israel, in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. I loose the light of the Holy Ghost over the land of Jerusalem, in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. I bind the strong man over the land of Israel in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. I bind the strong man over Jerusalem in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. I bind evil coming against Israel in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. I bind evil coming against Jerusalem in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. I bind evil coming against the inhabitants, the souls, the created vessels that are placed and, and abiding in the Holy Land. In the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask that you would open doors in Israel. In the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask you to open gates in the land of Israel. In the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask you to open doors in Jerusalem. In the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask you to open gates in Jerusalem. In the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask you to close off the enemy's access through doors and openings and breaches in any way the enemy would be coming in to bring any type of evil concerning Israel in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask that you would close off the enemy's access to be able to monitor the progress of the land from the realm of the Spirit. So I thank you, Father, for this time. I thank you for the fruit that shall come forth from this time of intercession as we gather in unity as believers in Messiah on behalf of your precious land that you have designated for your purposes, for your glory, and for your kingdom. So we say, Our Father, let your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Father, for all that you shall do. I receive this prayer. I receive the things spoken and declared by faith 
on behalf of this land and on behalf of your purposes for your glory only, King Yehoshua. In Yehoshua's name I pray all these things. Amen.